What's up everyone? Welcome back. My name is Justin. So today we got a few things going on and we're going to jump around a little bit. Uh, I just left the body shop. So I figured I'd film the intro now. Uh, the body shop doesn't have a huge update. It's been kind of a short week with the holiday and everything. So uh, it's only a couple of things. So I'll show you that here in just a second. But we're going to... I'm heading home now to start working on the engine to start building the engine for the Volkswagen so uh, we're gonna kind of I'll show you the body shop stuff but then I'm also gonna talk about the the engine I'll show you the engine and show you all the parts that we're gonna be putting on the engine on the rebuild and uh, and then we'll end that video there so right now I'm gonna show you the body shop and then after that we'll just pick that up at the shop doing the engine right after so stay tuned all right guys up here at the body shop we're just going to show you a quick little update before we move on to the engine stuff that's going to be here after this um we're going to kind of combine the two videos because we don't have a ton to show you today but this is all done this is so this is the original piece that was in there and here's the new one this is all welded in now and we got it all the way in. The inside piece down here wasn't in. We pulled that out. This was welded in and then it was ground on the inside and the back and it was all hammered smooth. So it looks like that on the inside also. And then the, that box in the front has been removed. The box that was right in here, that's all been pulled out. And we got the box right here so you can see how rusted that was and then this bolts for the uh the beam support on a thing it bolts into here and then this is the new box you can see there's a couple different pieces here so this is the bottom plate and then this is the template for the other box that's going to go on it we're going to make that and then this is the plate that's gonna cover that when it's all done. So we got this made. And then we have this template here because we made this piece, but it's got, a, the, the flange on the bottom is, is flat, but right here, it kind of curves up. It's got a little bit of a curve in it and it's fighting us a little. So we can use it if we have to, but we want to try and get it a little bit better. So we traced the, the, the original template, which I have right here. We have the template and we just moved it onto here to try and remake it. But there are some changes made on here. We cut this, widened it a tad bit there, and we narrowed it a little bit here, try and get it to fit a little bit better. So that's all been removed. This is the new piece that we're going to start working on. And then the box has to go in. But other than that, looks the same. We're trying to finish up up here once we get this whole area finished. Then we'll leave this how it is. We're going to do this whole back inside and out. All of this. Once that's done, then we can fit the rockers final. This will stay out for the time being. Sorry about that. This will stay out because we got a weld in here. Once this is all welded, then we will put the, we will extend the fender down over it. So that's where we are right now. Um, I'm heading up back to my place. So we'll start working on the engine today. So I'm gonna show you guys all the parts for the engine all in this video, we'll just combine that because we didn't have a ton for this, but that's where we're at on this. We're trying to finish up the front so we can start working on the back. So stay tuned and we're gonna be working on the engine now. All right guys, so we're done at the body shop and we made it up here to my garage where we are uh, working on the engine. So. We're gonna split the engine up into quite a few videos here on the build series, but I'm gonna show you 
since we already have stuff in the body shop, I'm going to show you all the parts, talk about what we're going to do with the engine, and then we will make the next video will be actually working on the engine. So um, as far as I know, it's a stock 1600. Got Benelli out here helping out. Um, as far as I know, it's a stock 1600. And I mean, it ran perfectly fine when I took it out to do the respiration. Um, it was just incredibly slow. <laughs> Couldn't get out of its own way. So um, we're not building a race engine. We want it to be drivable, but we do want to you know, make a little bit more power on it. So this is my first Volkswagen engine. This is my first Volkswagen I've ever owned. So we are learning on this one. But here's stock engine. And then for parts, so we are doing stock 69 millimeter counterweighted crank. Uh, I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to have the block machine or anything. I just wanted to keep it a 1600. So stock crank, just counter counterweighted, stock rods, stock piston, stock size pistons. Uh, so rotating assembly wise, it'll be a stock size engine. Um, from AA Performance, these are their ported heads. Uh, they got bigger valves, ported intake and exhaust. They got the valves all installed. They're ready to install. So I got ported heads. Um, this is the chrome alternator for the dress up kit. MP three and a half quart oil sump. These are port matched, port matched intake manifolds for the uh, for the heads for dual Weber's and then dual 40 mil Weber's. So that's going to be internal. Uh, the only cam I could get, I called everywhere, and the only cam I could get was from Coltec. There's a the spec. It's uh, 430 lift, 284 duration. So it should be pretty thumpy, but still have good street manners. Uh, webcams, lifters, flywheel, clutch. This is all clutch stuff here. Uh, we're going with the CB Performance distributor coil, spark plug wires, all their mounting brackets. Um, and then this is all just chrome dress up stuff. So we don't really need to talk about that. Uh, CB performance, valve covers. Here's the alternator bracket, the chrome one. Timing pointer. These are uh, stock lifters or uh, rockers. They're just re uh, brand new rockers stock size they're not uh 1.25s they're one ones this is an oil cooler adapter flywheel holder ring compressor straight cut cam gear set we got new push rods new main bolts all new gaskets new push rod tubes um and then we got our breather box here the only thing i'm missing we all the bearings are here too the only thing i'm missing uh I think in two days they're delivering the oil pump and the crank pulley. I couldn't get a crank pulley from anywhere else. So that's the only two things I'm missing as far as I know. I'm probably missing something. We'll find out when we start tearing it apart. And uh, we're just going to learn as we go. Um, but we got Lucas engine oil, break-in oil, and then the Lucas assembly lube. And then from Revlock, this is marking paint for bolts. And then uh, this is alu aluminum thread locker and steel thread locker. So I got all that. And then I got a book for uh, building a Volkswagen engine in case I get stuck on something. But this is where we're at. So um, I'm going to end this video here. I think it's going to get a little bit long. And then we will uh, start the next video when we uh, start building the engine. So stay tuned on that one, guys.